this year's ESMO, we have the pleasure to present our data head-to-head -head comparison between Bevazuzumab and Cetuximab, the angiogenesis against the EGF receptor pathway. What is the best treatment? Now, in America, we used mostly Folfox in this clinical trial because the doctor had the choice between Folfox and Folferi. And the data showed long survival. We were surprised about the length of overall survival. We expected much shorter, indicating that selection with a predictive marker, in this case, KRAS, I think was one of the arguments that these patients lived longer. This year, or this meeting, we present an expanded analysis on VAS testing because this mutation in this gene is not only in exon 2, which we thought is the case until last year. We are now testing additional spots in KVAS and NVAS if they carry mutation and if these mutations may impact outcome. So we tested about 620 patients with the most sensitive technologies available in the world. We could detect one mutated cell out of 10,000. Now, this improving technologies is giving us, of course, new ways to analyze our tumors. Sometimes it's overwhelming, um, but on the other side, we are now in an area where we can detect maybe very important, meaningful mutations in a few cells. Now, I think the oncologists say, what do we do when we have VAS testing? The choice of the <clears throat> backbone chemotherapy may become much more important than we thought. There may be interaction with the chemotherapy backbone as with the VAS testing. That needs to be tested. Because today, we have basically four options. We have chemo with Folfox, we have chemo with Folferi, and we have an antibody against VHEF, bevacizumab, and against EGF receptor, cetuximab. When we do our VAS testing, we can choose cetuximab based on what we want to achieve. This presentation is only the beginning of many to come, not only to identify predictive markers, but maybe classify colon cancer in a new and better and treatment guiding way. So I'm very excited about that and I think it's incredibly good news for patients around the world because colon cancer and the efforts to develop new treatment, treatment strategies is a global effort. So I'm hoping that we are setting a new standard right now, but I want to be beaten by next year to get even better.